Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Another Thursday video for you. We are going to show you everything you need to lap around Australia. Actually, I correct myself. Everything that we have bought to lap around Australia because I know people are gonna be like, you don't need that. I'm gonna tell you, yes you do. Let's get straight into it. We are gonna start with our cutlery, our utensils. We have got two of everything. There's one of him and one of me. That means we only need two things. I can advise you, if you do one thing, do not bring 10 utensils with you because you are not gonna use them. You don't have a dishwasher to be stacking up. You're gonna be using the sink every single day, every single time you have a meal. So we've got two knives, two forks, two spoons, two teaspoons. And then we have also bought sushi roll maker because that has become a big go-to for us on the road. Super fresh, super yum. We have got teaspoons because I like to measure things sometimes when I'm cooking because I do not know how to cook, so I have to follow every kind of recipe under the sun. Uh, we've got actually something that I do not need and I was thinking about throwing out. We've got two spatulas. You don't need two spatulas, bring one spatula. Um, we've got tongs, wooden spoon, another spoon. Oh, also on top of that, when you're packing for things on the road, don't bring really, really heavy utensils. Bring things that are super light. So I've got things like um, that are silicon so that they don't bash around and they're really flexible and they don't you know scratch everything in the sink because when you hit the corrugations hard you know what i'm talking about we've got two reusable snack lock bags which i actually say we use all the freaking time if i'm gonna like cut up bananas to put them in a smoothie then i'll put them in these snap lock bags so we're not using the, the um, one-off ones all the time. But I must say the downfall to living on the road is that there's not room for excess containers and stuff like that. So we do use snap lock bags more than I'd like to tell you about. We have got a grater. Don't bring yourself one of those rectangular or triangular graters. Get yourself one of these skinny bad boys because they take up like literally a quarter of the space of those other ones and it just slides in there and that's pretty much that drawer this is our pantry it is the size of your fingernail but it's actually deceiving it goes back a long way we have got two pans we've got a little one and a big one we use these all the time because we don't have that many options but i must say you don't really need a lot more than this except for a pot especially if you've got something like a weber because there's not even there's no space on the cooktop and there's no space in the cupboard so i would tell you you don't need any more than two fry pans we also have got these these are like little felt um material avanti it's not the bike brand I think it's the same name. Anyway, we've got two of these. Um, we've got one that goes in between our fry pans and then one that goes on the back. And then we just pop our dinner plates behind it so that they all go one behind the other and nothing gets scratched. And then they just slide in there. And we've got our just, I don't know, like miscellaneous spices, salt and pepper, tins, peanut butter, olive oil and then down the bottom just heaps of like we actually haven't been shopping for a little while but heaps of rice and then if we head to the top we have got our big long storage section up here we have got two cups two plates two wine coolers which we also double as like smoothie coolers because it's too hot to put them in a normal cup two bowls two yetis just like snacks and one thing that i actually did buy on the road which i never thought we would do but i just nagged jacob every single day until i got a smoothie maker but this nutribullet i reckon we use every single day we plug it into the inverter and you blend it up you make whatever you want actually on top of that i've been using it as like a flower maker so i don't bring flour on the road because we just don't have the space so instead i just bring oats and then i just whiz the oats up and i make oat flour add some baking paper baking powder in and then you've got like 
your own little version of oat self-raising flour. Um, that's a good little tip for you while you're on the road. Oh, I've got something in here to show you because you need to make sure that when you're on the road, your storage is like schmick and you're not making lots and lots of dead space. So in here, I was like, what can I do about this? Because there's so much room in your pot. I bought one of these things from Joseph and Joseph and it's like a steamer, but you can also, I also use it like to drain my pasta and stuff. So I would highly recommend you get one of those. I think I got mine from like Howard's or something. Um, but that's great and it fits in there perfectly. We make like steam buns in there. Like, so if we've got freezer Asian style steam buns or like dumplings, you can pop them in the steamer, pop them in your pot and then you have steam buns. Uh, and then we've got uh, behind that, we have got our collapsible kettle because you need to think about storage and you need to think about weight. Some of you might have like a little 12 volt um, kettle, but we find that this does the job just fine. Um, especially if we're running out like of solar, then you've always got, you've always got enough power because you don't need power, you need gas <laughs> to make yourself coffee. Not that I drink coffee. Jacob drinks coffee. <laughs> and then in here, we are also making sure that we're maximizing our storage. We have got two of these. I've spoken about these before, but they're the Fusion Lock um, caddies that you can get from Bunnings. They're pretty exy. They're pretty expensive, but I've never had one fall down on me yet. So I highly recommend them. And we use them obviously every single day. I don't know what I would do without them because I don't know where I'd put my stuff. So we've just got like hand soap, hand soap, um, Oh, people are going to love this. My cold sore tablets. Because if you've been watching from the start, you will know I got chronic cold sores when we left. And people were like, take some of these tablets. And I was like, okay. And now I take them and I haven't had a cold sore in like a long time. <laughs> okay, tunnel boot time. This compartment here goes all the way through and shoots out the other side. So it's like just one big hole. Um, I've pulled out most stuff that we usually keep in here so that I can show you literally everything that we have got. But the only thing that we have got in there left is the TV antenna, which we do not need anymore because we have Starlink. So I don't know, maybe we should sell that because it is a waste of space. Um, and then the other thing is our 12 volt King oven, which we you, we've probably used, I reckon, 10 times on this trip. So I would say it has been worthwhile but I don't know, take it or leave it. It depends how much you like pies. But everything else that we have got, thanks to Jacob's dad, Brendan, he didn't know we'd taken his table until like literally two weeks ago when he was packing for his big trip and he was like, where's my table gone? Anyway, it's here, Brendan. Um, we have got one of those tables. It's like those aluminium slats. You just roll them out. They sit on the like um, on this frame and it's super, super compact. Look at how small that is. That is so, so small. So we've got that table and then we've also got another table which is about half the size of this one. So this is a square, so like that long by like that long. Well, if you're gonna buy yourself a table, and it's just for the two of you, I would highly recommend getting something that folds down really, really compact. We love it. We think it's such a great table. Second thing that you absolutely need while you're lapping Australia is a muck mat. If you haven't got a muck mat, you're doing something wrong. I reckon the month after we bought this, they came out with gray ones. I was devo. But anyway, green, green will do for now. Um, but next time we get a muck mat, we are definitely getting a gray one. But we don't live without this. Every single time we stop somewhere, no matter if we're there for a day or if we're there for a week, we get the muck mat out and it makes so much less cleaning for me when we get into the van. It's amazing. So you need a muck mat. Okay, everything I've now packed for working out on the road, getting in my biceps, like the size of the Hulk. <laughs> Just kidding, I reckon they're getting smaller and smaller every day. My three mil Lululemon yoga mat, I do not go anywhere without. I reckon I've used this three times a week for the whole trip, except for when we were in Victoria because it was too cold. Uh, and then I've got 
couple of things that I think are super important because they're super lightweight. And I think that if you like working out, these are gonna be a really amazing thing for you on the road. So first one being skipping rope. And then I've got a resistance band and another resistance band. I probably don't need two, but this one was on special at Audi for $4. So I bought it, but I'm a little bit high maintenance. And so I've also got two sets of dumbbells, two five kilo dumbbells. And then I've also got two three kilo dumbbells as well, because I bought the five kilo dumbbells and then they were too heavy for me. So I wanted to be able to do my flights. And then one other thing, which you also probably don't need, but it weighs nothing and you can deflate it and it's like this big. But this is a Pilates ball. The last couple of things that I keep in the tunnel boot are things for washing up. So I've got like a stain spray, I've got some um, nappy sand, I've got some uh, dishwashing liquid, which I'm actually starting to phase out because I found these amazing detergent sheets, which we've been using a little bit lately. You get 60 sheets, 60 washes. And I think if you've got like a super dirty load, maybe you use two sheets. Sometimes I use three if they're particularly dirty, but look at how lightweight that is. That literally weighs nothing in comparison to this. So if I were you and I was thinking about getting some stuff for on the road, look at Woolies. That's where I bought these from, I think. Um, they're called Restore Laundry Sheets, but I highly recommend them. Um, I've got an egg container because Lord knows that we go off-road a lot and so this has been amazing for keeping our eggs nice and safe and not broken. Pegless clothesline, you've probably seen us use these before, but pretty much it's got two bungee cords and then you just detach them all together. They're so good. You just slide your clothes in there. Look at that. That's not going anywhere. I can't even make that fall out. You know what I'm saying? But we've got two of those because like I said, when we do our washing, we go hard. And then the last thing I was gonna show you that we also keep in there is our thermocell. We left our trip being like, we don't need a thermocell, like we will be okay. And we got eaten alive. I would highly recommend getting a thermocell. We've got this one that you fill up with the liquid. Well, thank me later. So I look forward to all those comments with people thanking me later. Anyway, let's head inside the caravan. So a couple of necessities that we have packed inside the van now. I've got baby wipes. I know you're probably thinking why you're even bringing up baby wipes, but I can tell you now get yourself some baby wipes because it's not every day that you're gonna be able to have a shower. Um, also aloe vera, you're gonna need it because you're gonna get burnt, I can guarantee it. Uh, sunscreen, need I say more, you need to look after your skin. We've got so much of it always on hand. Uh, and then if we come into the van, we've got towels on our left hand side. We've got two, you only need two. I tell you now, you do not need more towels. We've already sent home, I think three towels because I overpacked. But if those are ever in the wash, which they're hardly ever in the wash, only every two weeks, I know it's gross, but we don't have access to a washing machine all the time. So whenever we get access to a washing machine, if we're there in the wash, then we just use our beach ones. But you only need a towel each. Trust me on that. Come on in, under our little couch nook in the corner, we have got our first aid kit. It's packed to the brim with like snake bite stuff, not that we'll need it, but like heat blankets, bandages, band-aids, uh, saline, like anything you could ever imagine. The kit's like literally this big. So get yourself a beefy first aid kit, please. And then also in here, we've also got our medical box. So like Panadol, cold and flus, you know, um, different creams and stuff. Whatever you might think you need, especially if you've got kids, make sure you pack everything that you've got because you haven't always got access to a pharmacy. So bring yourself every kind of medical stuff that you think you might need. We're also running our Starlink cord under there at the moment because it actually looks much better when it's under there. Oh, and one other thing that we've got in there, which we bought on the road and we didn't think we ever would, 
but we love is our toasted sandwich maker. And if you've got yourself a hybrid caravan, which I know some of you definitely do, sometimes it's super duper windy. So we do whip out our toasted sandwich maker every now and again, because you can cook anything on there. Like we've cooked chicken on there <laughs> before. <laughs> um, anyway, over to the left hand side, my left, your right. We have got our Duna cover. You would know that this is the only Duna cover we've bought with us because this is the only one you've ever seen. You don't need more than one Duna cover because again, if you're heading north, everything dries in five minutes anyway. So you just wash it and you pop it back on the same day. We've got four pillows because Jacob and I like to both sleep with four pillows. And if we're doing like computer work, then we just pop a pillow behind our head and we're also propped up a little bit. So I would recommend bringing yourself four pillows. And then over in the back side, it's like a calico storage bag. And yes, one of the straps broke off, but I've done like a little bit of DIY work. I pop everything that I ever need in there. So if you've got excess space, I would say get yourself something that you can hang up, that you can just throw stuff in. Like, I don't even know, just like um, face masks, hair ties, sunglasses, hats, things that you haven't really got like a spot for or like a container for if unless you've got a big van. But for me, I just chuck everything in there. We spent the first part of our trip without a TV bag. And I can tell you now, it really pissed me off because we'd have to take the TV and pop it inside the bed every time we moved. And it was just so annoying. So we bought ourselves one of those navigator storage bags and I don't even have to think about ruining the TV now. It's just in here, it's safe and it lives in that corner. So if I were you and you've got a TV, I know it's like a bit of a pain in the ass. I think it was like 80 bucks or something. So it wasn't a cheap bag, but it fits perfectly. I can just throw it in the corner and I don't even have to worry about it breaking. Um, we've got our laundry basket as well, which we need. It's like a necessity. We don't really wear clothes more than once. This actually compacts down. So you just undo all of these Velcros and then you can just slide it in the corner. And then you've got heaps and heaps of room down here. Not heaps and heaps. This is a hybrid caravan. <laughs> what am I talking about? But at least you've got a little bit more room than what you did. But to be honest, I don't think we've put this down since we left Tassie because we just always have got clothes in it, which is really nice to be able to put them somewhere away from all of your clean clothes. Okay, let's talk clothes. Gets a little bit controversial when we talk about clothes because people like to roll, people like to use packing cubes. Um, I'm gonna show you what we do. So for Jacob's clothes, we roll because there's not that much space. They're just t-shirt and shorts. They all just go in here. That's all the space he's got. And it, I must say it's oodles. He's got plenty and plenty of room. It works super well. I would say that we don't have too many clothes in terms of Jacob's stuff because he wears it, they get dirty, we'll put them in the wash. Generally, by the time we wash again, he's run out of shorts. So then he'll just start re-wearing them, which is fine, not a problem. But for me, I use packing cubes and in my packing cubes, generally I roll, but sometimes I fold because I find jeans are too bulk bulky to be rolled. So I just fold them. So I've lived eight months on the road with these clothes and one jumper, which is, I think is not bad. And I would even say that I have overpacked. I've got a shorts and skirts, shipping container, shipping container, <laughs> packing cube. And then I've got jeans and jean shorts and long pants in a packing cube. This is my workout cube, which I think is overpacked, but I used to be a gym teacher and I also be a, used to be a PE teacher and I pretty much used to live in them. So I thought that while I'd be on the road, I'd be living in them. But in fact, I work out and then I get changed in the morning, which I love. I've definitely overdone it with that one. If I were you, pack less. And you can always buy stuff on the road. Like I actually have been surprised with how much 
we've loved op shopping and like the thrill and excitement of going to an op shop and finding stuff. Give yourself also plenty of space to be able to do that as well. I've then got all of my tops, which again, there's too many. I can't wear all of them. Um, and then I've got my dresses, which I must say I wear all of my dresses pretty much. Um, and then if we move on to our um, underwear and socks, Jacob have, has got most of the time all of his underwear rolled up but I left this to him today and now they're not, <laughs> which is fine. And he's probably got like 10 pairs of socks, maybe like three weeks worth of underwear. So if I were you, I would pack more underwear because you can always re-wear like jean shorts or skirts or jeans or whatever. But I just don't really like re-wearing underwear. Um, and then here's my stuff. So I've got like um, sports bras, bras, socks. And then I must say this little hack that I, do I call this a hack? I didn't even know. I made this myself, but all of my knickers are like in these little rolled up situations. Look at them. Look at how cute they look. And then I just pick them out and they're great, but I'll show you. I don't know if people want to see this, but I actually think that this is a worthwhile thing if you're going to be packing for on the road. I don't know if people want to see your underwear. I don't even care because this is a hack. Look at this. So you fold them inward, inward, and then you just tuck it in the top. And then you've got like the cutest little... That is actually useful. I don't even care if you don't want to see my knickers, but look at that. That's actually really, really worthwhile. And then they're all there. They're all. St I've probably got like, again, like three weeks worth of knickers there because I just think you need them. Let's go under the bed. So you lift it up and we have got ourselves three big storage spaces and then one long one underneath. So I'll show you what we've got. A couple of necessities, which I'll show you now, are our board game. We have like 10 board games, literally. You probably don't need 10, but we keep going to op shops and finding more. So they're a pretty big, exciting part of life on the road because sometimes it can get a little bit slow. Oh, there's a secret in there. There's going to be something really exciting happening soon. And I can't wait. I'm actually going to tell you. I'm going to tell you because I told you a couple of... Oh, actually, I don't even think I told you because it was going to be in a video coming up soon. Anyway... Jacob and I are launching like a website and a clothing brand and it's called East Side because Jacob and I used to live on the East Side in Hobart. There's the East Side and the West Side. We're on the East Side and the East Side's a pretty epic place to live. It's close to the beach. We loved it anyway. But we're dropping a couple of t-shirts, a couple of stickers and a couple of epic bucket hats. They're splendid if you ask me. Haha. <laughs> You'll know if you know. <laughs> anyway, I think we're going to drop the website maybe Friday. So the day after this video goes live, hop on our website. Or maybe we should upload it when, like on Thursday. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, we can do it. So when this video goes live, our website will be live and you can shop our clothes. We haven't bought too many t-shirts yet because we weren't sure how many people would... Oh. I think you broke that. Yeah, I think I broke it too. So, Thursday, when this video drops, you will be able to shop Eastside by Lil and Jake online. I will leave the link in the description below. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We didn't order too much stuff because I wasn't sure how much people would want, but if it sells out, there's gonna be a pre-order and then I'm gonna put in an order for the stuff on the 15th of May. And then you should get your products by like, your t-shirts or your hats or whatever you order. Um, by the start of June. What? How exciting is that? There's going to be a blog on there, so you're going to be able to have like a little bit of a read of your blog. You'll be able to check out our YouTube videos there. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's like a fun little community where we can chat to you. You guys can chat to us. We're going to show you a bit of style, a couple of photos. Oh my God, I'm so excited. East Side by Lil and Jake is coming. And I can't believe I just told you. I wasn't planning on telling you, but I can't keep my mouth shut. So <laughs> here we are. Uh, anyway, back to the video. That's that long one. Then we head further back. No, not important. Batteries. I mean, like they're kind of relevant, but not for this video. And then in here, 
I don't even think we can be bothered getting in there, but I've got four rugs now on this lap and I reckon you don't need four. But I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if you even need one. No, 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 no. I reckon you definitely need one. So I've got one here and it's nice to keep one on the bed, but it's also nice for like if you go to the beach and you want to have a picnic, if you go to the grass, you want to have a picnic. If you want to take some really cool aesthetics photos, then I would also say pop your rug down and take a beautiful photo. It'll be great. That's that, so I think. <laughs> Let's head outside. Now I'm taking the second part of the tour with the fun things, I guess, hey? Well, I don't know how fun they are. But what we are bringing one Weber one shade this just goes on the awning it's actually pretty good I think you might have seen me put it up in another video um, one hose for drinking water that's all we need and we've also got a filter that goes on the end so there's a filter inside and then another filter here so I filter the water going into the tank and then filter the water coming out of the tank so that's a good one to do because the water tastes horrible, especially in South Australia. Sorry, South Australians, but I'm sure you guys agree. We've got two of these buckets, handy as. One is a clean one, which is, I think this is this one that Lily uses for washing and things. And then I've got another one in the front there that I use for like car washing and stuff like that. That's the dirty bucket. It's a clean bucket dirty bucket and then there's a couple little things on the inside up here in the tunnel boot that you couldn't see before um, two hammocks handy we never use these actually but, like, but when they're up they're fantastic but we've got a bag that we use for like hikes and things like that actually thank you so much guys for like supporting us on last week's video it's just I'm so happy I actually, we asked for you guys to give me 250 likes. If we get 250 likes in this video, I'll get some new flippers. No one's gonna like it that much, are For me to get new flippers, cause my flippers were so bad. And at the time when we asked, we were like, that would never happen. And I think if I can look at it right now, that video, that video right now has 535 likes in not even two days. So, I went a little bit early and I got them, but look at this. New flippers. <laughs> How good. Thanks so much for that, guys. It's you guys that did this. You guys got me these flippers. Liking these videos really, really helps us out. Thank you. <laughs> Makes me happy. Flippers. Sorry fins and Lily's big fins are up here as well I'm sure you can see them silly things up there like the aerial for our TV that we've never used I don't know why we brought that this thing that winds those little stable legs down oh oh easy he was coming at me then wasn't he you saw him all right we'll go around to the front all right this is where I pack the dirty thing because it gets really dirty in here so, we have two diesel jerry cans. They come in handy, trust me. Two gas bottles here. I've got these wheels that go on the back of my boat. Um, use them a little bit. Here's the dirty bucket that I was talking about before. Um, Lily's old flippers. Oh, I've got an axe. You know what? never been used it looks like it has but it's just been rattling around in here um i have a, this sheet i just really keep it as it's like a ground sheet that i lay on when i'm like working on like under the car or the van that's a really good idea if you've got the space it's nice to have something to lay on i mean i do have this one as well which is our sand sheet it doesn't work that well but it's really nice to have like a clean area and like you know sand and stuff still goes on it but you know just to keep your feet a bit cleaner um i also have in here 
right down here, a chainsaw, which I think we've used once in eight months, but in saying that the last seven months, we haven't been able to have a fire. So hopefully it gets a bit more of a run. We've got a fuel tank for the boat in there as well, and an anchor and stuff. So all those things that you need to have, you know, they take up lots of room. Okay, we'll move on to the car and that's sort of where I keep all like fun stuff. So I'll just show you in the car, there's not much in the inside of the car, like storage wise. Um, actually, so I woke up this morning, we're in Broome right now and the car got egged. Luckily it only just hit on the wheel, but yeah, we got egged last night. I don't know if that's like embarrassing. Kids, I've definitely egged a car before. Sorry. Uh, pretty much the only th sort of thing, we try and keep the car clean. But um, storage wise, we have these navigator seat organizers. And there's lots of things like Lily keeps all her bathers in here. Um, just like a radio and stuff that we've brought. We've actually got two of these. Uh, just keep one in here at all times, just in case. Well, I thought we'd use it for reversing, but we don't really use it that much, to be honest. I just reverse and Lily reads her book. Um, and then we have a box here. This is like all our camera stuff. We could probably do like an actual video on all the stuff we've got. Would you guys be interested in a video on all our stuff that we use to make videos? And we'll have a bit of a talk about that. Comment down below and I don't know whether you'd be interested in that. Oh yeah, there's a sunshade there as well. You really need to get one of these. Definitely. Desperately. Now, I actually have this solar panel. We have a King's foldable solar panel that I have here. I usually just put that on the car when the car's parked up for a few days. Um, it doesn't really work very well, to be honest, but it's enough to run that fridge, keep the car alive, so. We have two chairs. Best chairs ever. Two chairs, only need two chairs. Beach towels. We have three, four beach towels, sorry. Because we're always at the beach. So I've got some bottled water. It's more like an emergency sort of thing. Um, there's this, actually a surfboard in here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a small surfboard in there. It's like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, I can't remember. A cool cabana, extension lead, an extra pot for cooking on the fire that I've never actually got round to. Uh, two fishing rods, a Milwaukee light, just knickknacks and stuff that I keep in this drawer. I think there's some like camp lights and stuff right up in there. Um, and there's also under the surfboard some inflatable rings which you've seen us float down some rivers on. I have another surfboard up here uh, that I strap up there in the roof to keep it, you know, out of the way. There's two long boards down there on the side. They're actually pretty fun, but lots of times we find that not really places where there's enough concrete to ride them. Uh, and a bucket up there for wetsuits. This is my garage. So I've brought a lot of tools with me. If you really want to look at what tools I've got, pause the video when it's on there, because I'm not going to go through <laughs> all the stuff that's in there, it still goes right up there. I know it's messy, but it's hard to not be messy in here. Um, we also have up in the side here, right up in there, I won't get it out. That's where I keep all, well, there's a compressor in there, wired in, but I've got two snatch straps, a winch extension, a tree trunk protector, and just shackles and all that kind of stuff up in there. And also all the service stuff for my car, like an air oil uh, fuel filter with two fuel filters. Just all those kind of things, they sit up in there and then also in the other wing of the drawer. Coming around here actually, I had a few questions on where we, actually, where we keep our shoes because everyone was wondering where we keep our shoes. We have two boxes in here. And they're supposed to be his and hers, but they've just become a mixture. So we just sort of keep them in here. 
and this one has some alcohol in it uh, because it was empty. These used to be full before we sent some stuff home uh, and we realized that all I wear is Crocs and Birkenstocks. So, oh, and runners if we run, which Lily thinks is never. We also have a fire pit up here. It's just the King's one, one of those like diamond shaped ones, I guess you would call it. Um, a big first aid kit here. That's a great one. And then there's, that's where I keep those radios that I was talking about in that little box. Also, probably another thing, we also have another surfboard up in here that sits up there. Um, that's just Lily's Mini Mouse. Yeah, that's pretty much all we store in the car. The car doesn't actually have much stuff in it. Look at this t-shirt, I've gotten dirty. If you like this t-shirt, you might actually be able to, you know, purchase it off us. I think I look good in it. So we hope you found this video useful. We are so excited to share that news with you and we hope that you guys hop online to Eastside with Lil and Jake. That's me, that's him. And have a look, have a look, support us. All of the money goes towards us trying to get you videos as good as this one. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think we just want to be informative and go around and you know, travel Australia and show people what it's really like, you know. And hopefully, you guys get advice off our videos. Yeah, hopefully, you learn something. Yeah, and hopefully, we, you know, I just want to inspire people to do the same thing because. You know, it's an amazing life to live. And it is achievable. We hope that you can find it in your hearts to support us and go and buy something online. But like I said, there's a pre-order happening. If things aren't in stock that you like, you can still purchase them and we'll get them to you by hopefully the start of June. Hmm. But we're so excited. No promises though. <laughs> as soon as we can. Anyway, we'll see you on Saturday. Yep. I was going to say Sunday, and then I realised, no, Saturday is the day. We'll see you on Saturday. Have a great week. Mm. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.